Good day learners. We are now in week 3 in Mathematics 5 with the title Polygons. Everything around us has color, size, and shape. These God's amazing creations that make each and every one of us unique. As we go through our lesson, you will be able to differentiate things with sizes and shapes. Look at the pictures. What do you see? What shape do you see on the wall of the first picture? What is the shape of the notebook? How many sides do you see in the notebook? How many sides are longer than the other side? The sides longer than the other are called length, and the shorter sides are called width. How many sides do you see in the Philippine money? How many line segments are there in the Philippine money? Aside from this, other objects also have length and width. What other objects can you see in your house which have length and width? Look at the pictures with different shapes. The window has four sides. What do you call this shape? The second is a picture of buttons with five sides. What do you call a shape with five sides? What do you call a shape with six sides, eight sides? The shapes with different number of sides are called polygons. Polygons are closed plane figures that form by the line segments that meet only one at their endpoints. Polygons are classified according to the number of their sides. Look at the chart. In the first column are the names of the polygons. In the second column are the figures showing the sides of the polygon. And on the third column is the number of sides in the given polygon. Here's the chart. Pentagon has five sides. Hexagon, six sides. Heptagon, there are seven sides. Octagon, 8 sides. Nonagon, number of sides, 9. Decagon, has 10 sides. And decagon, 11 sides. And the decagon, has 12 sides. Look at the different set of polygons. Can you name the polygons? What can you say about the sides of the polygons?
Look at set B. What can you say about the measurement of the quadrilateral? Are all the sides equal? What are their measurements? Number 2. What are the measurements of the sides of the pentagon in set B? What can you say about their measurement? Are all the sides equal? 3. How about the measurement of the sides of hexagon in set B? Are they equal? The polygons in set A have equal sides and their measurements on each side are the same. These polygons are called regular polygons. If the sides of the regular polygons are equal, their angles are also equal. The polygons shown in set B do not have equal sides. The measurements of the sides are not the same. These are called irregular polygons. If the sides of the polygons are not equal, the measurement of their angles will differ from each other too. What can you say about the number of sides of these two polygons? Do they have the same number of sides? Measure the sides of the first hexagon. Do they have the same measure? What property of polygon is this? Measure the sides of the other polygon. What can you say about the sides of the second hexagon? What property of polygon does the second hexagon have? Remember that regular polygons always have equal sides and angles. Look at the given figures, the set A. What kind of polygon do you see? How will you describe blue square, red square? Are they similar in shape? Let us measure the sides of the two squares. Are they similar in size? What can you say on the shapes of these hexagons? Do they have the same shape? What can you say about their sizes? Are they the same? Observe this set of quadrilaterals, set B. What do you observe? Are they similar in shape? Are they similar in size? The figures in set A have the same sizes and shapes. Disregarding of their colors, they are equal in sizes and exactly the same in shape. This pair of polygons are called congruent polygons. Congruent polygons are pair of polygons with the same sizes and shapes. The polygons in set B do not have equal sizes though they have the same shapes. Those pair of polygons that is not equal in size and shape cannot be called congruent polygons. Let us have another example. Look at this pair of polygons. How will you compare the size of the pentagon to the size of the hexagon? How about their shapes? Are they the same? Those pair of polygons that is not the same in size and shape cannot be called congruent polygons. Take a look at the example. What polygon is shown? What can you say about the symbols used in the figures? What do you think represent these symbols? The symbols you see 
are used to represent congruent sides and angles. The sides with the same markings tell that those sides are equal in measure. And the angles with the same markings show equal measures. This is the symbol used to show congruency. For your learning task 1, state whether its figure is a polygon. Classify the following polygons as to regular or irregular polygon. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Look at the numbered polygons below. There are three pairs of congruent polygons among them. Name the pairs by writing its number. Learning task 2. Match the names of the polygon with their number of sides. Write the letter of your answer on your answer sheet. Using a ruler, measure the sides and write if it is regular or irregular polygon. Read its item carefully. Then choose the letter of your answer in each item. Write your answer on your answer sheet. Number 1. Which of the following polygons is congruent to the figure? Number 2. Which of the following pairs of polygons is not congruent? If the measure of the side of a square is 2 cm, what will the measure of the side of its congruent square? A. 1 cm B. 2 cm C. 3 cm D. 4 cm 4. Which of the following statements describe congruent polygons? A. The color, size, and shape are similar with each other. B. If you place the square on another square, they will look like one square. C. As long as they have the same shape. D. If they have the same size. 5. If the polygon has 7 sides and its perimeter measures 14 centimeters, what will be the size of its congruent polygon? A. 3 centimeters each side. B. 2 centimeter each side. C. 1 centimeter each side. Look at the road signs. What do you call the signs? Where do we see the signs? What does its sign mean? What kind of polygon do you see in its road signs? Why do we need to read and follow the signs? Look at the figures of two tables. Table 1, Table 2. Table 1 has a regular polygon a stop while the top of table 2 is not. Which one do you prefer to use? Why? Who is in the picture? What does an architect do? Is it important to have congruency in the building 
they are making? Why? What will happen to the structure of the building if they will not use congruency in their measurements? Remember, polygons are closed plane figure that formed by the line segments that meet only at their endpoints. Polygons are classified according to the number of their sides. Regular polygons are polygons with equal sides and angles. Irregular polygons are polygons with different sides and angles. Congruent polygons are pair polygons with the same sizes and shapes. For your learning task 3, what polygon is being described in the picture? Read its item carefully. Write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. 1. A square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides. What property of polygon does it show? A. Regular B. Irregular C. Perfect D. Imperfect 2. Which of the following figures is an example of irregular polygon? 3. If a regular pentagon has a perimeter of 30 cm, what will be the measure of its side? A. 4 cm B. 5 cm C. 6 cm D. 7 cm 4. If a regular polygon has 4 sides and each side measures 4 cm, what do you call this polygon? A. Trapezoid B. Hexagon C. Rectangle D. Square 5. A regular polygon has a perimeter of 40 cm and each side is 5 cm. What kind of polygon is this? A. Hexagon B. Octagon C. Pentagon D. Decagon Given the figure triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ, Use the figure to find each part of triangle XYZ which is equal to its corresponding part in triangle ABC. Write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. I understand that blank. I realize that blank. I need to learn more about blank. Maraming salamat sa inyong pananood. Hanggang isa muli, samahan niyo ako sa mga susunod pa mga videos. Huwag kakalimot na mag-subscribe. Pwede kayo mag-comments, mag-like at i-share ang ating mga videos. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!